Welcome to The View from the Booth for this week. Joe Tutino alongside Kobe Jones. Big performance on the road for the Galaxy. Winning at RSL is always a big thing for any team, including the Galaxy. And this time they did it with four youngsters, Kobe, and they really came through, every one of them. Well, they did. They stepped up, and what this really tells us, and, and I've harped on this quite a bit, it's all about the depth that the LA Galaxy have right now. It puts them a step above all the rest of the teams that I've seen so far in MLS. And the question begs, you know, who's going to be able to beat this team? Because they can go to their starters that are coming off of some of those injuries, and they can go to these young players that have stepped up, shown that they can perform and contribute. So yeah. important. I know on the Twitterverse they call him the hero in the game. So let's start out in goal there, Brian Rowe. I think that big save he made off the Jao Plata shot really settled his nerves and really gave the Galaxy confidence going forward. Hero. I like that. That's the first time. I didn't see that one. I like that. But, uh, yeah, ex excellent game You know, mm -hmm. all the way around. There was a little bit of, of nerves at the beginning, but like you said, the save that for a player, getting that first save out of the way or that first kick, something just to get you into the game and into the rhythm for a goalkeeper is so important because you know other opportunities always arise and we saw towards the end of the match it was a little bit of a scurry in front of the in front of the right. goal but you know sometimes as a goalkeeper it's great to have you know the crossbar you know and you know on your side you know so he had that but overall Rowe was good great shot blocker like we said and good behind in the nets great presence of mind and the other player the other youngster I want to talk about before I get to the older youngster who who did well as well in Mike McGee but Charlie Rugg uh, makes his MLS debut scores that second goal that was probably the nail in the coffin in the match it was. I mean, Rugg had an excellent game. I mean, when we're talking about all these guys, they all had great <laughs> games. I mean, it was a good game all the way around when it, when you get down to it. But Rugg, not only scoring the goal, and that was something special with him being at the right place at the right time and, and really thinking ahead. You know, and that's important for a striker, and he's showing that maturity already. But what I did like, he used his size in the game. He was able to put himself in between the man and the ball a lot, use his body to turn people. You know, those that's what you want from a big guy. And he actually showed a lot more mobility than I think a lot of people expected, more than I expected. So I think another, another great future for a player, you know, in the Galaxy. Mike McGee, I think he was the common influence in the contest. He got that first goal. He always makes an impact and important times and matches. I mean, you, in the first part of a game or in the last minutes of a game, Mike McGee's name seems to be called. Now, you called Mike McGee a youngster. Is he, can he really be called a youngster He's been anymore? in the league forever, but he's still pretty young. As I get older, everybody's younger, you know? I think he's been in this league for 20 years now. It's crazy. But for Mike McGee, I think another quality game and doing what he does best, scoring goals. He's so dangerous in the box. And this is where I'm putting it out there again. Hashtag Mike McGee, U.S. Men's National Team. I Hashtag agree. Mike McGee, Gold Cup. He's got to have that call. This is the opportunity now, I think, for Jurgen Klinsmann to look at a player like Mike McGee. When it comes down to it, when you're in that, and I know I'm going off the rails here a little bit, but when it comes down to it, when you have a player that can score goals, you know, sometimes you can sacrifice in other areas. Mike McGee puts the ball in the back of the net. All right, let's turn the page to Sunday night. The Galaxy are back at home, 8 o'clock against the Houston Dynamo. The first 10,000 fans in attendance receive a Landon Donovan bobblehead courtesy of Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Houston right now, third place in the Eastern Conference. And if you're Dominic Kinnear, over the last couple of years, they've had kind of a slow start before building up for a late run to the playoffs. Third place, not too bad for them. Oh, I think Dominic Kinnear is very happy with where his team is at right now. Dominic always builds a team that kind of gets better as the season goes on. So if you're moving up from third place, hey, only two spots to go, right? So you're, you're, you're in good positioning. He's happy with that. I think without Brad Davis, that changes the dynamic of Houston quite a bit because Houston is a very set play oriented team. And without him and his service, that changes thing. It kind of diminishes diminishes Will Bruin quite a bit in the squad. But the one player that you can look at that might cause the Galaxy some problems is Boniac Garcia. I think he's the dynamic player for Houston. We've seen within the qualifiers what he's done to Honduran, Honduran International. So it'll be interesting. Focus on him. That's the big threat that Houston's going to bring on Sunday night. Always big matches. The Galaxy back at home. We hope to see you here at the Home Depot Center. Again, if you want to ask your questions, ask us at Joe Tutino at Kobe Jones, hashtag VFTB. For Kobe Jones, Joe Tutino, thank you for once again viewing this view from the booth.